This is Charlie Alexander from Fair and Pierce. I'm providing this recorded presentation to supplement my May 2023 technical memorandum to help explain some of the complex engineering analysis from that memorandum regarding the Highway 82 Aspen Lumberyard Driveway intersection. The recommendation from Aspen Planning and Zoning Commission was to conduct further study of the Highway 82 Aspen Lumberyard Driveway intersection to determine if it can safely meet a level of service C or better. First, it's helpful to define level of service. Level of service characterizes the operational conditions of an intersection's traffic flow. It ranges from level of service A, indicating free flow conditions, to level of service F, representing oversaturated conditions where traffic flows exceed capacity. Level of service C represents average delays. At a signalized intersection, level of service is derived by calculating the average control delay per vehicle. This includes deceleration delay, move up time in the queue, stop delay, and final acceleration delay. Level of service A is less than 10 seconds of average delay. Level of service C is 20 to 35 seconds of average delay. And level of service F is more than 80 seconds of average delay. Let me show you a video to see level of service in action. This is a simulation of the Highway 82 Aspen Lumberyard driveway during an off-peak time with a traffic signal in place. Those are the little green and red lights in the center of the image. You can see the white cars moving through the intersection with zero delay. They are not slowing or stopping. Each of these vehicles is recorded with zero seconds of delay. The blue car approached from the east, decelerated, stopped, and is waiting at the red light for the light to turn green. It will take a while, but the blue car's total delay is approximately 45 seconds. Now that the light on Highway 82 has turned red, white cars on Highway 82 have to slow and stop, each recording a few seconds of delay. When you average all these delays together, the many cars at zero seconds, the one car at 45 seconds, and the few cars at a few seconds, you get the average delay at the intersection and corresponding level of service. The intersection you see here is operating at level of service A. The first conclusion of our further study is that the Highway 82 Aspen Lumberyard Driveway intersection will safely meet a level of service C or better during most hours of the day. This is the condition that the Highway 82 Aspen Lumberyard Driveway will experience during most hours of the day. During most hours of the day, during the Down Valley commute or during off-peak times, the intersection will operate at level of service A better than level of service C. This level of service A condition is the result of cars on Highway 82 operating with very little delay, a few seconds on average, and cars exiting the Aspen Lumberyard driveway operating with average delays of approximately 25 seconds. However, during the AM peak hour, during the Up Valley commute, the Highway 82 Aspen Lumberyard driveway intersection is projected to operate at level of service F. This is what we found in the Transportation Impact Analysis, or TIA. Let's dive into what causes this. This is a recording from field observations we conducted for the TIA. As you know, during the morning peak hour, during the Up Valley commute into Aspen, a traffic queue forms where Highway 82 drops from two lanes to one lane near Harmony Road. The queue from this lane drop extends past the Aspen Lumberyard driveway. The building in the left view of this video is the Aspen Mountain Rescue, which shares a driveway with the Aspen Lumberyard. This is a recording from our existing conditions model for the AM peak hour. In this simulation, you can see the stop sign in place at the Aspen Lumberyard driveway. We calibrated our model to replicate the same queue from the lane drop at Harmony Road. You can see it extending past the Aspen Lumberyard driveway. To answer the question about whether this intersection can safely meet a level of service C or better, here is the same intersection with a traffic signal in place, but zero traffic turning in or out of the Aspen Lumberyard driveway intersection. This shows that because of the Up Valley queue on Highway 82, even with zero Aspen Lumberyard traffic at all, 
The up valley queue causes the intersection to operate at level of service D or worse. In summary, the intersection will meet level of service C or better during most hours of the day. However, in the AM peak hour during the up valley commute, existing queues extend through the intersection. Even with no traffic from the Aspen Lumberyard driveway, a signal at the location would operate at level of service D or worse because of these existing queues from the lane drop at Harmony Road. The Aspen Lumberyard project modestly increases delay in travel times on Highway 82, but is not the source of the worse than level of service C condition. The Aspen Lumberyard project proposes transportation demand management programs and fixed route transit that will minimize the project's trip generation and its effects on increasing delay and travel times on the Highway 82 corridor.